Welcome to New Map. Oh, yes. As you come in, I imagine you probably have a key or the door is just open because she knew that you guys were coming. Um, yeah, I'm sure he has a, a key. But yeah. He'll come in and kind of kick his shoes off and throw his bag just onto the table, just very casually. He's done this every day of his life. Mom, I'm home. He's here. And we brought a new friend. <laughs> you, you hear a callback going, oh, okay, good. I kind of hoped that it wasn't somebody who had just broken in. Hold on. I'm handling a hot... Ow, ouch. Okay. Don't Be right there. Yourself. Take your shoes off, please. Yeah. yeah. He turns Yay. around. Forget, you gotta take your shoes off. Yeah. <laughs> can Evie doesn't have shoes. Can he come inside? Or hey, Mom, can Evie come inside? Can what? Do you can already have a Evie's Pokemon? Evie. Wow, that's... Well, V does. I, I don't. Not yet. We still have to go meet the, the Pokemon professor. Right. Uh, can he wants to know Evie if he can let his V come in. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course, Miss dear. Walker. Yes, of course, dear. I told you you don't have to call me that. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Uh, he'll kind of just like okay. run through the house. He'll run over to the kitchen and give mom a hug okay. and a kiss on the cheek. Sounds good. Um, mom token is slightly know, different style know. than the other tokens, but <laughs> hope that's okay. All right. Oh God, he is dude. happy. Yay. And she kind of turns around. She goes, oh, goodness. Okay. And immediately hugs you and probably like because she's holding a ladle still probably puts like a little bit of soup on your shoulder. <laughs> All right. So how you been? Have a good day? Oh, so, you know, my child got into yeah. a train accident and then the police yeah, called me in the middle of the night. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Very good. Well, I'm glad to see that you're OK. And she kind of picks a little piece of like like a twig or a rock from your hair and goes, yep. That was definitely, mm-hmm. V, dear, how are you? Mm -hmm. Uh, fine. I think I hurt myself more falling down the stairs this morning. What? Are you all right? Do you want to... Oh, and we have a new friend. Hi. How How this, are you? This is probably your mom. friend. Yep. I want to lay down. Okay. Uh, this is Kid. Kid, this is my mom, and I'm just going to name her Anne. Okay. She... My mom, Anne. It'll just kind of, like... Give a friendly wave. Nice to meet you, Anne. Nice to meet you. Uh, sorry, the name. What's the name? Kid. Ki kid. kid. Oh, just. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you, kid. That's a new one. Um. Well, do you want some <laughs> soup? Because I have some soup and I made some garlic bread. Um. Yes, please. Yes. And yes, yes. Yep. All right. Um. And I got you some, you know, soda. Usually don't want you drinking that stuff, but I guess I suppose since friends are over, you know. Yeah. And you got your. Yeah, and you um you passed your test. You all passed your test. V, did you what? pass the test, dear? Yes. Oh yeah, he it. Oh, God. Roll a persuasion, kid. And <laughs> actually, no. V, roll a persuasion. <laughs> v just like collapses like face first onto the couch and lets ivory out <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, yeah uh, I pass <laughs> he'll take out his his provisional trainer's license see wow oh that's oh let me see that mm. they got a nice picture of you didn't close yeah, your eyes this yeah. time unlike no. every single school <laughs> photo that's an improvement dear all right. Kind of like looks around shyly and then like puts out a big smile like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, um, I tidy up your room a little bit in case you need anything from there. Try not to touch any of your stuff like you told me to. Just, you know, in case you want to grab anything else. Um, I see it. I honestly don't know. Is it? There, there's two dark spaces. I don't there know which is, one. There is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Are about to fight? Oh, oh sorry. I, I, I picked it just because it was closer. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally clicked it when I was trying like to reveal. Milo's, <laughs> Milo's mom. <laughs> Anne actually has like an HP bar the size of, <laughs> the size of Tennessee. All right. Yeah, you can go into that room. That one's yours. The other one's your mom's. Um, but yeah, uh, probably she comes over to um, V actually and goes past Kid and goes, smiles at you a little bit and goes, oh, mm -hmm. give me just a second. Got to check on this one here. V, how are you doing? Let me see your head. You said you fell down. Yep. It hurts. Like everything else. 
Okay, do you want to go see a doctor or something? Because while you're in town, we... No. Are you sure? Kind of brushes Where's your... gave me Tylenol. Okay. All right. She kind of brushes your hair out of the way, feels your forehead like she's checking for a fever. And then kind of pulls back a little bit looking at the Eve and goes, Oh, that's... that's cute. Where'd you get that? He, he looks slightly guilty for a moment before covering it up and picks picks her up and just holds her up to uh, <laughs> and just uh, it was a she, she's a, a post um, test present from oh for acing yeah yeah mm-hmm. well I'm yeah. glad you've turned over a new leaf that's oh. exciting to hear she's adorable what's her name <laughs> Her name's Ivory. Oh, hello, Ivory. Well, aren't you? And she like, <laughs> Ivory is at this moment like acting like the <laughs> acting like a little movie star essentially, and is just kind of like <laughs> preening. Um, every time that she hears her own name being called, she just kind of pulls her chin up and kind of poses a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but does allow does allow Anne to like give her chin scratches and kind of relaxes a little bit at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, I think I got everything that I'm gonna need. And you also need a good meal, so why don't you help? Yes. You know, set the table and then sit down. Mm. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And he'll run and start making, you know, right. taking out bowls and setting it up for everybody. Okay. Yeah. We didn't have breakfast. Ran out of money. Oh, you ran out of money? Do you need to do you need to borrow some more? Because I did set aside a little bit for you, Milo, since you were gonna go, but I was waiting. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, it would definitely help. Uh, I Unfortunately, I spent most of what I had saved up getting... He kind of like passed his bag. Getting my new camping stuff. Uh... Well, I, oh, I was going to actually, oh, okay. Well, your your dad did send over some camping stuff, but it was a little bit old. So I think it's probably better that you got some new stuff, but it's actually not the only thing he sent. Um, we'll, we'll talk about, why don't you sit down? Good things for last. Not me. <laughs> Dad sends me presents, and you want me to eat before I can see them. Yep. yep you gotta wait. Food first. Food first. Mm-hmm. Beast right. Okay. Okay. That's fair. We do need to eat. We haven't eaten all day. It's been... His stomach probably... Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right. It is a... Again, it, while you're sitting at the table, you can feel the floor <laughs> just start, like, shaking. Because his knees just going up and down and up and down. Anxious <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. will kick him a couple times under the table. Every time it starts to get like sorry. a lot. <laughs> I, I, I'm not meaning to. Sorry. Every once in a while, every time you kick him, I, like Anna will look up without actually no, without looking up, we'll just say, "Boys, no footsie at the table." It's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> sorry, mom. All right. Milo's being annoying. V, please. We use kind words here. Is there a kind way you can say that? Milo does no. not have his two. <laughs> <laughs> what's, right. the, what's a kind synonym for annoying? Overly excited, for example, which is very fair. Crazy. Well, he gets that from me. That's a given. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, kid, um, I haven't met you before. Where, um, whereabouts are you from? Like, around a mouthful of garlic bread. Just, I'm from Jodo. Oh, Jodo. That's good. What, um, what town in Jodo? I've been a couple of times myself. Now that's something I gotta ask you. I don't know <laughs> with, with how much Canto has changed. I don't know the specifics on 
the rest of the world? Uh, that's a great question, because honestly, I gotta be real with you, I have planned Johto like halfway before I got distracted. So, and you've also moved around because of the research your family does, uh, and just in general, you have also, you know, you, you've been around a couple of cities in Johto. I would say the one that you probably feel the most, um, let's see. Sorry, this is me. Azalea, maybe? Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to think what would make the most sense essentially. Yeah. You've you've spent some time, for example, like in Olivine City as well. Um You've definitely been like to New Bark, but yeah, Azalea Azalea is actually a good choice, yeah. We'll say that you have probably spent the longest between like moves and Azalea, so if that's what you wanna say, that works. Yep. Now he'll tell you Azalea. Okay. Well, that's nice. Haven't been down here in a while, and um, you're gonna be a Pokemon trainer too, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. it, again, another mouthful of food. He's kind of digging around in his pocket, and he'll pull his provisional license out to show off like Milo did. Oh, all right, Kid, all right. Kids fought in parking lots. Uh, well, I'm not allowed to do that. I'm sorry. Fought in a lot more than parking lots. What? Hmm. <laughs> Should I ask? <laughs> is that something I should ask about? Because if I shouldn't, I won't. But should I? I'm a bit of a rascal, he says as he gets another mouthful. <laughs> uh -huh. Fight in the parking lot. Hmm. I'm sorry. Wait, I'm overly optimistic. <laughs> Incredible. He just kind of nods just... slowly. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. What is it, Milo? No, he's just he's just kind of sh shyly as as he's talking about fighting in parking lots and you know battling in different places. Milo's just not making eye contact. He's just, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. We'll be fine. You know, don't, please <laughs> don't give her more to worry about. Yeah, she the entire time she's kind of like <laughs> looking between Kid and then glancing at Milo and then glancing at V as well with a little bit more concern, <laughs> being like, well, he's hmm. I wonder if that's such a great idea, though. Fighting in parking lots right after you got your license. I mean, we didn't, but... We... Okay, that better, it better stay that way, honey. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> no parking lot fight for you. <laughs> kind of deflates a little bit. I mean, it's not even legal, so I don't know when I would fight in a parking lot. Yeah, no, that's good. That's, that's the correct answer here. <laughs> Have some more garlic bread. You're looking a little pale. <laughs> she kind of pushes it towards you. <laughs> much, 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 much. <laughs> <laughs> you you pick some towards. <laughs> Roll me a poke handling check, V, to convince your Pokemon to eat vegetables. <laughs> okay. I would say she eats some of the vegetables gladly. Um, but then a couple of them she will probably actually, like, take, and you see her disappear towards the, the couch here. <laughs> um, and you think that she might be burying them, like, inside the couch cushions? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Milo takes his last big heel of bread, soaks up as much soup as he can into it, and just shoves the whole thing into his mouth. Okay. More! I'm done eating! Okay. Dad sensed off. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, now it's dessert time. Yes, I suppose it is There's dessert time. No, no. We <laughs> have soda V. That's our dessert. What? <sighs> but look, cookies. I. There is some cookies. I did make some last night. If you want, they're they're in the yes. in the kitchen counter. You can go get them. Uh, all right. So, um, yeah. Now, don't tell your um, new Pokemon professor this or anything, because technically I'm not supposed to. He was going to send it to you directly, but then everything else happened, and I convinced him to send it to me, and, you know, my license has been expired for a while, so I'm technically not supposed to. So oh. anyone asks, whatever this is got sent right to me. Yep, exactly. Okay. 
after okay. you receive your actual <laughs> license. Oh, all right, all right. Give me a second. And then she walks off and she disappears into her own room. And she comes you back. A... Mm -hmm. Oh, he, well, while she's gone, he's mm -hmm. going to turn to kid. Do you have a sleeping bag, tent, that kind of stuff? Oh, I don't have a tent. I've got sleeping bags. I mean, it sounds like my dad sent me his old one, and I kind of want to use that. I have this one. It's brand new. I haven't even used it yet. It's kind of small, but if we have two, then the three of us should be able to sleep no problem. Yeah, I mean, two is definitely better than one. If you, if you does, does want me to use it temporarily, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he'll kind of like pull it out of the bag. And it, it, it condenses small to like the size of, of like a fire, uh, like a, a log you'd split into a fire. Probably about like six inches in diameter and about. Hmm two feet long maybe and he'll just hand it to you I'd really I think it'd be cool to use my dad's he used his he used it when he was on his Pokemon adventure and went on his trainer journey and now I get to use it and yeah I think that'd be really neat oh yeah it's like a little living legacy he says yeah. as he's fucking the tin away <laughs> and then that one doesn't go to waste because now you'll be able to sleep comfortably too V was definitely gonna take mine. <laughs> That's probably fair. Mom. All right. <laughs> yeah, she comes back out and she is carrying like, um, kind of like a shopping bag essentially. And you see an older tent poking out of it. Um, and she gets to the table. And she kind of steps around Ivory very carefully, um, and then begins to like sets down the bag. Sets, uh, gets out, yeah, an older sleeping bag. Um, also sets down what appears to be like a... How can I say it? it? It's like a... Not a hunting knife, but like a survival knife, essentially. Okay. Um, sets that down. She goes, I told Jack you didn't need this, but... <sighs> anyway. You, you know what he says. If you ever get lost and you're ever off on a deserted island, the only thing you ever need is a survival knife you can use it to make anything else that you need. Honey, your dad said a lot of things. Yeah, he food. also said that he would probably eat his friends if he was... No, that was a different thing. <laughs> um, I mean, he, a lot that he says he's joking around, but he, he has a whole different, you know, man he? when he's talking about important stuff. Speaking of important stuff, look, this is probably going to... You, you have to be promised to be normal about this. Because he sent you another present. And all that he told me is that you'd better take good care of it. Because if you do, it'll take care of you. And then last from the bag, she pulls out a Pokeball. And sets it down on the table between you and herself. He's like composing himself. Visibly <laughs> vibrating in the seat, and kind of like reaches out with with both hands. Sent this for me. He did. He kind of like looks down at it, looks up at her, looks down at it. Do you know what it is? I it. haven't huh. opened it yet for fear that it would be something that might potentially destroy my house. So. You know, I'm not sure it's nothing like that. I I thought you should be the first one to look. Okay. And he's going to go, all right, here we go. And he's going to just kind of give it a soft toss so that it opens. Go, okay. whoever you are. Whoever you are. <laughs> yeah. Whatever this is. <coughs> oh, my God. The icon that I created for this is so small. Hold on. I'm going to make him a little bigger. Otherwise, he's going to oh, be no. microscopic. <laughs> um, and out pops a, hold on. How the fuck do you pronounce this Pokemon's name? Because I've been tentatively worried that I've been pronouncing it wrong my entire life. I, I always pronounce it Riolu. Okay, fine. We're fine. <laughs> the, the out pups are Riolu. Because sometimes I say Rylu for absolutely no fucking reason. So if I mess that up, I'm sorry. That's just a what? bad habit. Anyways, out pops a Riolu. Riolu! Who's probably <gasps> facing away from you when it pops out, like in a Pokemon battle, and then just kind of like looks around the house very questioningly, glances over at V, who has probably, like, cookies stuffed in his mouth. 
Yeah, he's he's sitting like on the counter watching this with like the plate of cookies in his lap. <laughs> he's he's got like the Milo has the big puppy dog eyes that are like sparkling because the happy tears are kind of forming there, and he's just got this big ear to ear grin, and he kind of just like sets the empty pokeball down on the table and runs up and gives it a big hug. It probably yelps a little bit because it didn't expect you, and begins to like struggle and shove you aside before it realizes what it like what you are. Um, but then immediately turns around and, like, looks at you quizzically. Now, I do have a question for you, because I want to let you decide, would you, like, know this real lore or not? Because I'm presuming not, um, but... Yeah, I don't think he would know it. Okay. Yeah, I think he knows of them. Like, Dad's probably told him of Lucario and Real Lu mm -hmm. in the adventures, but he's never... not this particular one. Okay. Um, yeah, in which case it turns around and, like, kind of holds you a little bit further away from it with both paws and then Sorry. tilts its head to the side, tilts its head to the other side, and kind of makes a little Milo. questioning, like, Rrr? sound. Milo stands up and holds one, or I guess he kind of like crouches down and holds his hand out. Hi, I'm Milo. Looks at your hand, looks back up at you, roll me a Pokemon handling. <laughs> Animal handling... 23. Okay. You guys are have met for the first time just now, but you're vibing. This real looks at your hand and suddenly grins and grabs it. And man, for such a tiny thing, it is strong. <laughs> All right. Look, V, I have my own Pokemon too. Dad sent it to me. It looks like a dog with fists. I mean, that's pretty much what they are <laughs> <laughs> they're um, not really from Kanto this is so cool so awesome okay um we can't tell the professor though and if mom's right you probably shouldn't tell them that you got Eevee because they might uh that might be against the rules how, how are you guys gonna battle if you can't let anybody know you got them because you well, gotta I mean, battle yeah 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 we'll, we'll we'll tell them after we get our starters but I think I think we're supposed to when get our starters first. I think they got like it. a whole like debriefing thing they need to go over with us and they go Ooh. over the like what we need to know and be responsible for and how to feed them and take care of them, all that stuff just to make sure that we don't, you know, really do anything. Specific. We're going to have to sit We're going to have to sit in a meeting. You tell me you've got the patience not to just battle. You got you both have Pokemon right here. No They're battling like, in the house. Yeah. Like, Answer us quickly. Not nope. Ready. Absolutely not. <laughs> Ivory has been slowly inching towards Riolu <laughs> and just like sniffing. Roll me a stealth yeah. check. Where you guys will have to do like a yeah. Roll me a stealth and I guess roll a perception for Riolu. It has a passive perception, but it's looking around, so. Tie it to. <laughs> It's like when a cat gets really low on the floor and is like slowly inching towards you. Yep. Oh, but not stealthily really at all. <laughs> yep. uh, shouldn't have given me. I didn't have control of the token. Oh no! I actually have to tie the token to yeah the Pokemon as well because I keep on forgetting about that. Perception. <laughs> Perception. It's not one of the things he has. Wisdom. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty good, though. As soon as, like, Riolo immediately turns around and all it sees is Ivory crouching and, like, doing a little butt wiggle <laughs> until, before it pounces. I, just for funsies, can you roll me, like, an attack? Any of the attacks will do, essentially. But do you want to roll me an attack with Ivory? It's the AC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and probably pounces on Triola, not necessarily with the intention to harm, but they probably yeah. roll no. on the ground a little oh, bit. God. And Anne immediately no, goes, no, 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 Retur return them, return them <laughs> yeah. right now. No, 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 not hold in on, here. hold on, hold on, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. And he's going to pick up Riolu and kind of like try to pull him away from Ivory. Riolu yeah, is can, doing can that like... Ivory? <laughs> Riolu's doing that thing where like, you put dogs over water, and they're, like, pretending to swim through the air. <laughs> except he's trying to, like, punch downwards. <laughs> no, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Not here. We, I was trying to bat at his tail, like, as it's up in the... 
open <laughs> as you hold him up. Yeah. Um. Uh, um. Okay. I'll, I'll give you guys a chance. Work this out, but not in the not in the apartment. Uh, yeah. And Anne looks over at you, V, and she gives you like one of the serious looks and goes, V. <sighs> Ivory, come here. <laughs> Roll me another Pokemon handling check. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ivory, Ivory already like likes and respects you because you're you make a great bed. <laughs> so yeah, she comes pouncing yeah. back over. Okay. <laughs> Just feed her some crumbs from the cookie that I'm eating. <laughs> okay. Um, mom, do you know who the current? Pokemon professor is because I know that it changes a lot. Uh, and V said it was like a Professor Acorn now. Um, well, pretty sure it's not Acorn because I would, I think I would know. Um, I think it is. Sounds right. I believe the name is Acacia. It's a lot Which, harder to say. But. Actually, I just realized right now that I didn't roll for Riolo's gender and or shiny status, so I guess I'll do that now. Because that's, I think, the, the one that I just... Yeah. Uh, that I had made. Okay. Aww. No shiny. <laughs> and I Thank think we didn't... one on the gender roll, then. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think one would probably default to male, because the lower it is, the more, like, like male and then female is in the higher end of the spectrum, so it's a boy. Okay. Um... But then for the nature, I guess. Yeah, because you can't choose the nature because that's not officially your starter. Nope. Hold on. I think I had chosen energetic, which is what I set him up for with the plus two yeah. to dexterity and the minus two to charisma. Yeah. Which, uh, would number 11 be? Where are the rule books? Grumpy. <laughs> Where are the rules? Grumpy. <laughs> Grumpy. Uh, he's still Animal. minus two charisma, but now he has plus two constitution. Okay. I mean, it's not a bad trade-off. Okay. <laughs> it's um, gonna be a good contrast with my look. Do you want me to edit that, or would you like to? I just got it. Okay. You're fast. All good. Faster than me. All right. <laughs> just trying to take some some of your workload. Thanks. No uh, but yeah. Uh, I, I, do they still work out of Oak's old lab, or do they have their own lab now? Uh, you know, I no, I think they just took over Oak's lab uh, from last time I heard. Haven't really heard much about them. So. Local kids, you know, have already made up rumors, as you can imagine. But, um, no. Yeah, yeah I think it is a, a K show or something. I haven't really... I mean, you can go see them, obviously. Since you yeah. have your provisional license, that would be the next step. Yeah, well, especially because, you know, V aced the test, we were going to have him kind of mm -hmm. lead the uh, the efforts and, uh, <laughs> you know, get them to sponsor us. And since it's normally done in teams of three, we found our, our new friend here, and he's going to be our Picking third. Up so that, you know, you know that we're safe because I've got, you know, I've got kid looking out for me. I'm looking out for V. If v looks out for kid. We'll all look out for each other and everyone will be safe. So I don't want you to worry, okay? Well, you know I will, but Kid seems very responsible, so I'm sure you'll be fine. And you know, you're older now, and you passed the test, and you are ready to go miles and miles away from me and into the wilderness. That's gonna be fine. So, Milo, and V, and Kid, if you'd like, you have to promise to call me at least once a week, or text, or something. So that I know that you're not dead. Yeah, I think that's fair. Once a week, I'll, uh, I'll check in. And if anything happens to anybody, then I'll call immediately. Okay. V has, v has your number too, so he can call if anything happens. You know. I'll let you know if Milo gets eaten by a nursery. No, don't. Don't don't put that image. She just kind of oh, begins oh, to rub yes. her temples and sits back down on the chair and goes, e ah, It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I've dealt with you two long enough to know. All right. Well, Thanks, Mom. are you going to be heading out or will you stay and eat some cookies unless V's already finished off all of them? Um, 
I mean, V can just have my share. Okay. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm too excited. Food is great and keeps me nourished and moving, and that's all I need in the moment. Sugar's just gonna mm -hmm. slow me down in an hour. Can I take these? Do you have a Tupperware? Is there enough left for a Tupperware? Here, I'll put them in a little... <laughs> you're probably not going to have enough room in your backpack for a Tupperware, dear. Let me put them in a little wax paper thing for you so you can get them... Oh, excuse me, Ivory. Okay, yep. Maybe get you some, you know, um, maybe get you some vitamin C drinks as well, just so that you see... Do you need some socks? Extra socks, V? Because I have some extra socks that I bought for you. I figured you'd probably lost yours. I only lost one so far. So yes, please. <laughs> All right, I'll get and you some extra pairs. And she like begins to just putz around essentially, and eventually leaves and like goes over back to into her room to get you some extra stuff. <laughs> okay. Well, Milo is bouncing, and <laughs> he's kind of like he's got Riolu, I guess, held kind of like a puppy in his arm. Until he gets too too anxious to to be held there, and he'll put him down. Um, Riolu's like glancing around. It's kind of curious, just because it's scrumpy doesn't mean it's scrumpy all the time. But it is looking over at Ivory every once in a while, and you see his eyes narrow. <laughs> He's ready to throw hands. I can see it. We're gonna we're gonna have some fun, I promise. But not not in the apartment where we could. You know, break a chair and then be in trouble. Yeah, uh, he'll yeah, grab yeah. a pokeball and put it on his belt. Okay. Actually, he'll put it in his bag. Aha! Aha! Aha. <laughs> He's not going to wear it, obviously, out in the open. <laughs> <laughs> the police sirens that have been getting louder in the distance slowly <laughs> fade away again. <laughs> <sighs> so close. They almost got me. I mean, he's going to be walking around with, around with Riolu out for the most part until they get close to the lab anyway. That's fine. So if, you, if you want to arrest him. <laughs> Do you have it in your heart to arrest this child and his rich <laughs> face adorable little Pokemon? They would have to roll a wisdom live? saving throw against Milo's child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He kind of like puts Riolu down and starts like shadow boxing with him a little bit while mom gets the socks for V and the money she said she was going to give him. <laughs> Milo wouldn't bring it up again, but Cade, the player, has not forgotten that she was going to give him some polka dollars because he has not a lot left. Money. No, yeah, absolutely. She will She will give you money because, you know, she's worried about you, so obviously she's going to do that. Um, but yeah, eventually she comes back outside um, or out of the room, rather. Um, Oh, yeah, sorry, V. I was just reading your thing. You don't have team player yet. Technically, yeah, it's technically going to be at level two when you guys get your specializations, but we I... We need to catch okay. three Pokemon. Or get Whoops. three levels of Pokemon. Yeah. Close, not... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I wanted to ask. I didn't know if we had that yet or not, because I know you, like, added them to the sheets, but I didn't know if it was... Yeah, I, I figured out a way to add okay. the stab bonuses when you guys get stabbed, which won't be for a while, but, um... I'll have to think of a way to add those. I think I'm probably possible, but... Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, Anne comes back out. Hands probably each of you two pairs of socks, <laughs> including Kid. Um, also hands you a Milo. She hands you another probably, and she goes, oh, well, you'll have to share it with V, but I know better than to give it to V, so just, you know, keep it safe. Don't tell him I gave it to you. Uh, and she actually hands you another um, 3,000. Thanks, Mom. I'll, I'll take care of it and make sure it, you know, goes a while. Of course, of course. Get yourself something nice, you know, if you're tired or hungry, make sure that you don't go hungry. You can always call me and I'll, you know, find a way to get you some more, but uh, for now, that should maybe carry you until, um, you get two. What do you get? The secrets. Don't worry. He's got. He's got a survival knife. He'll never be hungry. <laughs> yeah. I mean, kids, not wrong. You can always chop down berries, make a vegetable stew. You can dig with it. You can carve it into like you can carve sticks into a spear point and use it to skewer fruit from high trees and stuff. It's it, 
Oh, you sure? It's truly the most versatile tool. Uh, truly the most versatile. Oh, you sound so much like Jack. And she, like, takes your cheeks and, like, pinches them a little bit. And she goes, oh, I'm going to miss you so much. All right. You, Mom. <sighs> once a week, okay? Please. And you too, V. She kind of calls over. <laughs> I'll text you. I guess that's good enough. And you too, and she kind of puts a hand on Kid's shoulder. Um, doesn't know you enough to like give you a hug yet, but just kind of is automatically adopting you <laughs> <laughs> into the group. And then eventually she goes over and she hugs Milo, kind of pets Riolu a little bit, then goes over and like forcefully almost pulls V into a hug and just goes like, your hair is so yeah. messy. Did you comb it today? Just... It's just sticking up every no. which way. All right. It hurts. Here. And like she it. and she very carefully, like, as she's hugging you, she also slips another thousand into your pocket. <laughs> just goes, don't spend it on anything stupid, all right? What qualifies as stupid? You know, I don't have to tell you. She kind of, like, boops your nose a little bit. And then walks back into the kitchen to begin to, like, clear the table. Mm. Great. Can't think of anything else. Um, <sighs> he'll run up and he'll give his mom one more big hug and a kiss on the cheek. I love you, mom. I'll call you next week, okay? Make sure you do. Love you too, honey. And you too, V. And you, kid. Please stay safe. No battling in parking lots. Or anywhere that's not allowed, please. <laughs> he kind of just nods. Up. <laughs> what if, what if it's on private property? Don't be. <laughs> Can I battle at my house? That look. Wait, are you going over there? Are you gonna stop by? Uh, yeah, I gotta say bye and grab some more stuff. All right. Oh, um. In that case, hold on a second, I have something for G. And she, like, walks over to the fridge and takes out, like, another thing of, like, wrapped wax paper that's green uh, with, like, a little <laughs> white and red ribbon on it and then hands it over to you and just just give that to Guardy and... You yeah. Know. I'll let her know it's from you. Yeah. She just seems lonely, that's all. <sighs> All right, get out of my house, you kids. Don't, because okay. otherwise I'm going to start crying, and then that'll be another thing you'll have to deal with. Get, oh. get. No, we got to go. <laughs> Call you soon, Mom. You better. better. Okay. Put his shoes on. Bye. <laughs> yeah, let's look call. down to Rio Lou. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye. Oh, you're, you're, you recalled Ivory? Yeah. Um, he's going to race Rio Lou, too. Okay. V's house. Okay. <laughs> so he's gonna go running off with Riolu next to it because they both have 30 movement speeds. So they <laughs> should be the same speed. <laughs> as soon as cool. Milo as soon as Milo goes out the front door, V stops and run, like goes back and gives her a hug and then leaves. <laughs> as you're running away the second time, you hear her begin to sniffle and you're like, okay, gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Leaving. Don't break my wall, please. <laughs> All right. Um, and you go over to V's house, I guess, next. You get out of the apartment. Now, I kind of want to ask V, then, how far away do you think you live? Because it's probably in a different neighborhood, but... Yeah, I'm it's definitely town. in a... Hmm. It, it's probably near... Honestly, it's probably near the old Poca Lab. Okay. In which case, that's where we'll go, is to old... That's yeah, where heading over there. Old Palette. Oh, look at the map. Yes, fucking dope. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, I will probably say, oh, you already recalled Ivory, so we'll get Ivory out of here. Ivory! Ah, I'll just delete Ivory for now. <laughs> no. No. <It's> okay. diner. <laughs> um, I would say probably your house would be, oh boy, what should we do with it? That'll probably be like oh, this one. Mm. Um, do you want to roll a dexterity check from yourself and from Riolu to see which one of you? I, I, I don't want to race my Riolu. 
It's dirty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Real? He's still sore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Rix will do that. Yeah. Riola does take off, and after a while, like I kind of actually stops. He kind of actually stops and like looks back over at you, like, "Hey, what are you doing? Come on, we're going." You coming? He's kind of like holding the back. Mm-hmm. Ow, ow, ow! Right, right. Ow, bruise rip. Okay. No, ah. Man, you are fast. Milo, <sighs> did you want some of my Tylenol? No, no, I'm, I'm fine. Still have two. You didn't take any? No, he, he gave me like four. Oh. So I took no, half of it. Just hang on to it in case, you know, you're still hurting in the yeah. morning. Probably, yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll make our way to V's house. Okay. Milo knows where it is. Yeah. It is this one. Yes. Yes. V kind of walks slower and slower as we get closer and closer to it. You okay? Yeah. You know, she's not going to be happy that I'm leaving. I don't really want to have that interaction, I guess. I mean, she's been there your whole life. You kind of owe it to her. I mean, Why do you, you think just... we're going in the first place? Well, I'll be there with you, and to Kit and Riolu, and so we'll all be there together, and in half an hour, we'll be out of your house, and on our adventure, heading to our Pokemon professor to get sponsored and get our starter Pokemon. Um, and new, then we can leave. Other starter Pokemon. <laughs> then we can leave. <laughs> yeah. So, just one more thing, okay? Yeah. Fine. All right. Grumbles and goes and <laughs> unlocks the door. All right. And you all head inside. Um, in this house, it is actually quite lavish. Um, give me one sec. Oh, geez, your tokens are really big on this map. All right before I move. <laughs> um, This is a big, so like... like... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. It's, it's, a, it's a big open floor house. It feels quite sunny because of the amount of windows. Um, but yeah, you step inside, and I mean, V, you know what it's like, but it's kind of interesting mm. thinking that this is going to be, like, the last time that you're going to be here for a while, at least. And even though you definitely feel like it's a little bit homelier over with Anne... You know, and Milo Mm -hmm. still kind of holds a special place in your heart, more or less. He'll walk in the front and around the corner. Guardy! Home! Alright. There is like a little bit of a shimmer, and then a guard of war pops around this corner. It is... Oh, I can't turn her around. Well, she's facing backwards, but pretend she's facing you. <laughs> um, but yeah, she pops around the corner, and she immediately spots you, and, like, with extreme speed, because she is a full-grown Pokemon, just flies at you, and you see basically all of V obscured by this Pokemon, just hug him and, like, lift him off the ground and, like, kind of spin around very gracefully. It looks inc- incredible, but also you just hear V groaning. <laughs> Morning, uh, Gardy. Afternoon. Mrs. Walker made you something, if you want it. Kind of sets you down <laughs> carefully. Um, yeah. And expectantly kind of holds out her hands. And he'll dig through his bag and grab the package and hand it to her. And she accepts it. Kind of makes some noise. I can't make the guard of war noise. That <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, insert guard of war noise. <laughs> insert guard of war noise right. here. But yeah, she seems pretty happy with it. She kind of begins to unwrap it, but then gets distracted and looks back up at you, and immediately like begins to um, turn around and go back to the kitchen and like starts like putzing around. She can't um, uh, we cook as a Pokemon, but she usually, like, you yeah. know, tries to get you snacks. 
We already, we already ate at Milo's house. It's okay. Shorn's back around. Thanks, Gardy. Goes back to you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> immediately, immediately back on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she kind of raised him, so they're a little bit attached. She's like very gently, like pushing your hair back down with not a lot of success, <laughs> trying to like comb it into place essentially, but it's not working. Fine. We we did our test. Did the test. Got license. Look. Stop it. He he reaches into his pocket and takes out the provisional license and kind of like sheepishly shows it to her. She takes it, looks at it for a long while. And then smiles at you. Like, you. she's a Pokemon. She can't, like, read, read. <laughs> but she's <laughs> trying very hard to pretend to be able to. Mm-hmm. And resumes, like, she looks very happy, kind of does a little dance, and then resumes petting your head. <laughs> like you're a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> and then we gotta go talk. <sighs> oh, no, go ahead. Sorry. We start. We talk to the same girl. Just, we, we need to go talk to the provost professor and get whatever he they give us kind of clamps um, her hands together a little bit again and then I guess after that we're gonna go stops clapping <laughs> slowly opens her eyes back up and like gives you a long long look I mean, I'd ask if, like, it would be okay to take you with, but that seems weird. Also, Dad might not like that. She kind of uh, looks down, looks back up, looks over at Milo, looks at Kid, who she hasn't really been paying attention to. <laughs> <laughs> um Looks also over, like, at Riolu, probably. I like how <laughs> Milo was just immediately flopped on the couch. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what he would have done, is gone mm-hmm. and flopped on the couch. Mm-hmm. I didn't know if it was presumptuous to, to put him there. Yeah, we can all, we can all be here. In and um, flopped down, gotten comfy. Yeah. But yeah, she looks back over at Milo, looks over at the Riolu, and is slowly, like, putting the pieces together, seemingly, and looks back over at you. And does seem to get a little bit sad... Because she is a psychic Pokemon, you almost kind of feel it in the connection that she naturally forms. Synchronized. Yep. Synchronized. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, you kind of get the sense that, like, she almost knows that this would happen, but she's still not happy about it. Um, I mean, since you won't have to be here anymore, we could I don't know, we we could take you to Viridian if you want. Does he want you to stay here? She kind of looks around at the house, thinks for a moment, and then slowly, like, shakes her head no. And, you know, just through the connection, essentially, you get the feeling that probably, like, she's saying, no, we'll just stay here. And also, like, granted, she could probably... Well, she couldn't really go by herself. God, can you imagine? Just yeah. like Garvor walking through <laughs> Palata. Right. Um, I mean, I, I can I can set up the phone uh, so that you can call him. I think I can do that. Do they... Is there a thing for Pokemon to use the telephones? You could probably... This is a pretty, like, high-tech house. You know that you have... Not Alexa, necessarily. But, like, you have the equivalent of where, like, your phone can be set up so that she can call your dad, like, immediately. <laughs> um, just by, yeah, like, pressing play maybe speed dial. One of the, yeah, yeah. The video phones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I could bring that downstairs and set it up for you to use if you want kind of pauses for a bit. Nods. Alright. Hold on. We'll just... I don't know if it's an upstairs or a downstairs, but he goes to the 
other floor, like where, okay, probably like closer to where his room is. It's probably downstairs, honestly. You, you this uh, first floor is really like high. Um, it's like the equivalent of two floors, but then there's also a downstairs, which is where like most of the bathrooms. This is kind of like a guest area, and downstairs is where like like the actual like rooms are. Bedroom. Yeah. yeah. So you can go downstairs and get that. Gives, yeah. He'll give Milo like a look like keep her company or whatever while he leaves. Milo will look over at Guardian. Kind of like smile sympathetically. Hmm. She'll probably go for it. You wouldn't like start petting your hair instead. <laughs> <laughs> he just sort of lets it happen. And kind of like... Crunches closed half his face as the petting is probably a little rougher than he would have liked. <laughs> so, kid, what's your home like? I mean, I don't feel like we're going to be able to meet your parents because Jota's a little farther than we are going today. But just curious. Well, honestly, it's kind of like the middle ground of this because my folks are busy, but we kind of moved around a lot together, so... It was sort of like I had plenty of space, but, you know, it's not like I was distant from my folks. That Not too different from oh, from yours. This pretty extravagant, not gonna lie. Yeah, V's house is... He kind of, like, looks up. It was a lot of fun to play in when we were kids. Lots of places to hide and nooks and crannies, especially downstairs. Um, but it can be a little... Intimidating and echoey. It's definitely nice, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he made good money. That's for sure. Took care of. Took care of V. I mean, I guess. Why? Why are they on? I mean, he's he's out of earshot. So why are why are they, are they on bad terms? What's happening? I mean, they've always kind of... He kind of, like, leans forward and just puts his head down, his hands in his lap. They've always just butted heads. Um... He can be totally jackass sometimes. But I really think he has the best intentions for V. He really wants him to become the best person, the best trainer that he can be. But just, there's a... An inability to understand each other, I think. That makes it complicated. He was also gone a lot. And, you know, he, he ran the gym in Viridian, so he was always up there, as well as, you know, going on tours and battling and tournaments and whatnot. So, Gardy really served as B's parent for the first, I don't know four or five years of their life before I met him. And then, when I found him, it was just, he seemed so alone. I felt so alone. My dad was gone all the time, so... We just sort of gravitated to, towards each other and have been friends since, so... But I just think that he was busy in the wrong way. And while he tried to make a good life for V. I don't think he really knew what V needed. You know? That sounds kind of rough. Really hate to hear it, but also kind of cool that there's a there's a guard of war holding the fort now. That's pretty neat. Yeah, yeah. She's a lot of fun. She's got a really good sense of humor for, you know, a guard of war. I can't talk. <laughs> she, as, as like Milo is saying this, she's still petting his face, but now like obviously being like purposefully weird about it, and is like she petting basically his off. entire face. Like she, she seems to know that she's doing something weird, but she's just enjoying herself, just like dragging her hands all over his face and like begins to squish his cheeks. <laughs> Riolu, protect me! Hit her with a quick attack. <laughs> Because she's a strong Pokemon, she can take it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Should I roll? You can roll, yeah, absolutely. Go for it. 
Oh my god. I was gonna do something. You're my mom. <laughs> I was gonna do something funny. Um, she actually, like, as Riolu pounces at her, you begin to see her shimmer as if she's about to teleport, but Riolu's faster and, like, bops into her and she ends up kind of, like, falling backwards and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Five damage. <laughs> Five damage. Yeah, she's not bothered or anything, but <laughs> she, she definitely uh, like immediately holds him at arm's length, and he's just too tiny, so he's like doing his best. <laughs> Hell yeah! Good job, Riolu. I didn't expect that to actually work. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Guardy. Uh, I, I was just. She she turns him around and like holds him up to your face, like take this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he'll take, take real and put it back on the couch I next to this is yours. And then scruffle him on the top of his head. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, and then immediately, like, cross her arms, make a weird, like, guard of war sighing noise, and then actually teleport, and you presume she's going downstairs to look for me. <laughs> He's probably, like, busy dragging the telecomputer, like, across the floor and trying to pull it up the stairs. That's fair. It's like a huge monitor. That whole system yep. by itself. Roll me a strength or athletics, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Athletics. Ale I mean, you don't fail or anything, but it takes a while, especially because you are also still sore from yesterday yeah. and your morning adventures with the elevator escalator. I keep on calling <laughs> it an elevator. It's an escalator. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you eventually get it back up there. I say it takes a solid, like, 15 minutes, and at the very end, a guardian just shows up by you, looks at you, <laughs> sighs, and takes you and the entire setup and teleports both of you back upstairs. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. Well, that um, always feels weird. Okay. Oh, look, they're back. Here... Uh, let's see. He looks around and then he's just like, I'm gonna put it over here so that you'll be able to hear it if you're in the kitchen or watching TV. <laughs> Gardevoir watches nothing but K dramas all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Living the best life. Yeah. Yeah. But he just puts the, the computer back up together, like, and then plugs it in. Okay. Now I'll have to edit the map. It should work. Thanks. I'm just kidding. Unless... <laughs> <laughs> it should work unless it broke when I was taking it off the table downstairs. Alright. But I think it's fine. <laughs> she kind of looks over it, pets you, <laughs> very like gratefully, essentially. <laughs> uh, I need to grab stuff. I wanted to say hi. And also, kind of by, I guess. So I'll I'll call you. Uh oh, I wanted to show you. Wait. <laughs> he just looks, looks down at the floor. Just, hmm. Never mind. She kind of blinks at you and no, watches I... you walk away. <laughs> kind of confused. <laughs> Don't yeah. worry about it. Are you going back downstairs, V? I uh, just need to grow up, run to your room and grab some stuff. Hold on. Don't forget to get extra underwear. <laughs> Milo. <laughs> he looks over at Kid. Did you pack extra? You always need extra. <laughs> <laughs> In case you meet with like a swarm of Beedrill and shit your pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you never know. It's a joke, but he's, he's serious. Yeah. He, he is. He packed extras for himself. Yep. You gotta be ready. <laughs> I didn't feel like bringing it all the way to Saladon to, for the test. I knew I was coming back, so I just had all my clothes kind of ready and rolled up and ready for, you know, ready for the adventure. He's still bouncing. Okay. <laughs> what's V doing? What's, uh, what's V doing down there? He, he's just, like, ransacking his room, like, running around taking, like, a couple pairs of extra clothing. Okay. So, we got some socks. I guess, like, one more pair of underwear. Okay. All and right. then he, like, runs around trying to find his Game Boy. 
<laughs> Roll me an investigation check. Because last time you seen that thing, you lost a game and you ended up chucking it. And it, like, disappeared into a pile of laundry. And now you think Guardy probably, like, put it away somewhere. God knows where. <laughs> Did you wash it? <laughs> you eventually find it. It's, like, behind a bookshelf, but you do find it, yeah. Okay. And he kind of just, like, takes a minute to look around and see if there's anything else he needed and a second to just be like, yep, this is my room. Last time I'm seeing it for a while. Yep. It's at the same time, it's, like, sad and happy. Yeah. I would say if you wanted to, it's kind of up to you, but there's not a lot of stuff here for traveling necessarily. It's more just like little trinkets that you mm -hmm. might want to take with you just to help you remember. There's like a little photo. There's a photo that you took <laughs> like as a child that is adorably bad. Mm -hmm. um, that is essentially a selfie of you and Guardy, but it's like smeared because you couldn't keep your hands steady. But it, against your better wishes, Guardy, like, kept it, and every time you try to put it somewhere, she, like, digs it up and puts <laughs> it back in your room again. But yeah. Uh, yeah, he'll, he'll kind of, like, sigh and look at it and then take it, but he's gonna just put it, like, upstairs so that she can see it. Okay. Sounds good. All right, then. Alrighty. Ready to go, V? I think so. Uh, Just get back your underwear. <laughs> sure. It's important, V. So it's, yeah, 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 yeah. Such, such the picture on the... I don't... Sure, Milo. <laughs> Uh. He kind of like as B walks away, dismissing him. He takes out his battered book and kind of like points to a passage and goes, "See, three: one to wear, one for an emergency, and you know, it, it, what one that you have to clean." So you just sort of rotate it. It makes sense. <laughs> he looks like a kid, like like kind of a please, 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 somebody understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that that all tracks. I think it does like an okay sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it yeah. Puts the book back into his bag. Okay. All right. All right. Please be. I don't have to tell you to be good. Um. Don't. What do you tell your? Pokemon. But hey, there. That's pretty good. <laughs> Pokemon. Yeah. Um, what, what do you tell your Pokemon when you leave home and she's gonna be alone? I feel like don't like get in trouble is weird. <laughs> don't. I recently learned not to fight in a parking lot, so maybe don't battle in a parking lot while he's gone. Okay. No fights in the parking lot. Um. Call. Dad, if you need something, or you can call me to talk because I won't be able to really do anything, so I can't help you if you're in trouble. Uh, don't forget to eat, I think. <laughs> yep. Bye. She's kind Heart of like. Filled. <laughs> heartfelt incredible <laughs> amazing um yeah no she kind of like looks at watches you very carefully and she's kind of always been like this every time you talk she does her best to like very intently focus on you and listen to you and you used to find it you know pretty weird as a child but you've grown used to it um but she eventually just yeah um but she eventually as you finish talking just carefully like puts both of her hands, paws, hands, on your cheeks and like leans <laughs> down and kind of like touches her forehead to yours and you feel just a little bit of like... Actually, let me check something. Hold on, I want to check something. 
Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Can I? Uh, Milo's got Riolu riding on his shoulder. He's just sitting on his shoulder. Yeah. No, I don't think. Oh, these are Riolu, actually. Let me see. <laughs> Does he Good. fit on your shoulder? Yeah, right. Because I'm pretty tall, or pretty short. I'm. <laughs> I'm pretty not tall. Definitely. So I'm also really tall. glad that Riolu wasn't shiny because I do not like shiny Riolu or Lucario. <laughs> the color is dumb. Wait, what is it? I would have to look it up. It's Hold on. yellow for Riolu. Yeah. Oh, damn. And Lucario's, yeah, it's like a yellow with the... Yeah, it's... it's yeah. Cool. Oh, I see. So the shiny of my of the evolution that I want isn't my favorite either, so okay. I don't mind. That's fair. Yeah, I actually kind of like that, but but I'm a weirdo who likes yellow. But um, anyways, <laughs> um, I think what Guardi does is actually, like, as she leans forward you feel a little like coolness essentially spread from her forehead into yours and she's going to actually use um life do and she's going to restore your hp back and you suddenly feel oh, better hell yeah oh shit i don't hurt Which I'm kind of Thanks. bending the rules because I don't know if you can do it to a human, but she's gonna fucking do it, and it's only two HP. <laughs> We're gonna so she's gonna, try. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Seriously, do not let him blow you off. If you need something, call him like all night if you have to, or call me, and I will yell at him. She kind of smiles a little bit, and you don't hear anything, but through the connection that she has with you, you kind of feel like she's almost chuckling. Um, like she's amused by the fact that you're so worried about her, but she just kind of pets your head again and in a gesture of like, don't, don't worry about it. All right. I'm going to the lab. I don't know. If, I don't think we'll come back after that. Probably not. We've got to... Got a Pokemon journey to start. Yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> Professor Acacia can tell us where to go next. Because I'm not even sure what, like, what the gym I mean, journey entails right now. Don't you just go to the gyms? I mean, it's... There's usually, like, an order that they recommend you go in. Um, like, used to be you'd start in... Computer. Uh, Computer, thank you. Could not remember. <laughs> I'm sitting there like it starts with the P, but my brain just keeps saying palette, and I'm like, no, it's not palette. It's like, okay, all right, got it. It's palette. I'm like, no, no, we're in palette. <laughs> all right, yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay, cool. Palette's the word you're looking palette. for. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you mean, and I hate it when my brain does that. <laughs> but, um, you, know, you, you usually you'd start in like pewter, and the gym leaders mm -hmm. are kind of like, you know, they they hit you with Pokemon of. of lower skill levels so you can kind of work up through the journey it's supposed to be a like a, a training experience yeah. whole deal so i i just don't even know if it still starts in pewter guess we'll find out yeah we <laughs> ask all right well i'm gonna let you do the talking with the professor um since you aced the yeah. test uh -huh. sure. Unless Yo. you don't want to? Nope, I got it. Gonna talk <laughs> to a professor. Milo will run up and give Gardevoir a hug as well. Bye, Gardy. Talk to you soon. She pets your hair again and kind of nuzzles uh, your head a little bit and then lets you go. She's gonna scoot around while they're doing that. Just nice to meet you. You're cool. Later. <laughs> she, she watches you like a hawk. She's never seen you before and she's just kind of like... Just cautiously observing, essentially, but... Who is this other influence upon my child? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> you did not even remember to introduce you to her, but that's <laughs> fine. We forgot. No stopping now, let's go. That's, that's just me. It's just classic. <laughs> All right. And as you guys head back out into Pallet, you know that the Pokemon Lab is not too far. To uh, the lab. To the lab. However... I gotta make you smaller. I don't know why I made you so freaking huge. Um, because you're supposed to be at a house. Um, but yeah, I think this is a good point to take a break a little bit. Yeah. Um, cool. 
And then when we come yeah. back, uh, we can go to Acacia's Lab. Man.